We've got Aristotle. We've got New Year's resolutions. We've got your Detroit Lions. All this and more on today's episode of the Cat's Eye News. Special guest, Suitcase. Hey Novi, after school today, the photography interest group will be having their fourth meeting in Media Center Lab 1 across from room 182. It's an hour after school from 3 to 4 p.m. and you'll learn how to use different camera modes. Hey Novi, the student book group is meeting today at 3.05 in the forum. Today they'll be reading Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Alire Staines. What's up, Novi? Culture Club is having a meeting today, January 19th, in room 182 to talk about Lesotho's culture. Snacks will be provided and all are welcome. Go check it out. Hey Novi, I've got some news for anybody who's interested in participating in the 2024 National Economics Challenge. After school on Tuesday, January 30th in room 237, Mrs. Smith will be holding a short informational meeting, so make sure to come if you're interested. All right, well, this is Luke signing off. Hey Wildcats, ISTP is holding a fundraiser next week during lunch. They're selling nothing bun cakes. Um, they have four different flavors. They have lemon, red velvet, chocolate, chocolate cake, and white chocolate raspberry. They only take cash, so don't bring your cards. That's all. I'll see you later, Wildcats. What's up, Novi? With the new year upon us, lots of us have New Year's resolutions, and some of us will keep those, and others of us won't. So Nate and I went around lunch today asking people, do you have any New Year's resolutions this year? No. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> do you have any New Year's resolutions? As in like this year? Yes. No, because I don't believe in it. I don't think it's a good system. Um, I want to gain 20 pounds. Be happier. How do you plan to achieve that? Playing less League of Legends. Hey. Yeah. What's your uh, New Year's resolution, if you have one? I don't have one. Why not? Because I'm fine the way I am. Uh, do you guys have any New Year's resolutions or anything like that? Uh, not typically. Why not? Um, because I never, I never do it. I never follow through. You know, and it's, it's usually like uh, get more sleep or eat better. But you never do that. You know, I try, but no, no, it lasts about a month and a half, or like go to the gym, right? If you go to the gym right now, it, they're it's packed. packed. They're packed. Wait a month and a half. Do you have any New Year's resolutions? Yeah, I sure do. I uh, I aim to lower my golf handicap. Do you think people actually follow up on their New Year's resolutions? No, yet. No? No. Why not? <laughs> because you need perseverance. And you have perseverance though, right? I try to. You getting better at it? I am fine. <laughs> Half the people don't keep up with it anyways. I would agree with you there. Yeah, so why make why make a promise when you can't keep it? Thanks for watching, Novi. Make sure you stick to your resolution if you have one. What's up, Novi? Welcome back to Who is Novi's Favorite Rapper. Today is the final vote, so if you're going to vote, make sure you're ready. And if you have not voted all through the entire bracket, I highly encourage that you do so today. A quick look back at round one. Eminem beat Post Malone with 80.6%, and Cardi beat Lil Wayne with 58.2%. But now it is time to vote. Game five semifinal game, we have Eminem versus Playboy Cardi. All right, if Eminem doesn't win this, there's something wrong with you guys. I don't even dislike Cardi. It's just the fact that I don't know how he got here in the first place. So Eminem, all the way. Now everyone likes that. And them, but I had to go with Cardi. I got oh my God! <laughs> oh my <laughs> like, look, I, I, I love Eminem. I love Eminem, but no, you don't. It's Cardi. Like. The winner, moving on to finals with 72.4% of the votes, was Eminem. Okay, thank yeah. You. <laughs> Thank you. No, bro. Thank you. Sorry, Jane. I asked for another favorite song, and you guys said Rap God, and another favorite album, and you guys said Recovery. All right, now we have the most important game yet. These are the finals. Kanye West versus Eminem. That's really tough. I wouldn't be mad either way, but I am going to go with Kanye West. I just think that overall, I think his music is better than Eminem's, and he is more versatile. Should have never happened in the first place. Travis Scott should be here. <laughs> okay. If you ask me. I'm going to go with Kanye, but it's going to be close. Playboy card. I had to go with Kanye. I know Eminem. I listen to Eminem a lot, and I like his lyrics. He actually goes pretty deep. But um, I, I choose Kanye. Was that it? <laughs> yeah, my vote Kanye. Uh, he's better. He says that six times. Yeah. All right, so for my prediction, I think that they're both obviously iconic artists. I do think that Kanye will probably take this one. Percentage-wise, Eminem beat both of his opponents by a long shot, and Kanye barely got past both of his rounds, so it could just be a sweep for Eminem, but we'll see. I'll see you guys next week for the results. Applesauce. We'll take Tony Romo. Oh, my homie right there. Freaking awful Aaron take. Shades, shades of Mahomes right there. How's it going, Novi? And welcome to the second episode of the playoff edition of NFL Game Day. Starting off with the Houston Texans against the Baltimore Ravens in Baltimore. CJ Stroud had a fantastic playoff debut last week. I think he's going to continue that. 
But the Ravens are just too good. Give me Baltimore on this one. I don't like the Ravens. Give me the Texans, even though I know they're not going to win. Yeah, the Ravens' defense is stacked. I think Lamar's the MVP. Give me Baltimore. They still one. can't beat the Steelers. Yeah, no, they can't. Next game we have in the AFC is the Chiefs and the Bills. This is always going to be an interesting classic game. But right now, I think the Bills do take the win over the Chiefs. Like Braylon said, when these two teams meet up, it's always must see TV. This game's always been an arrowhead. But this time, it's in Orchard Park. I think that's going to be a huge factor. Bills Mafia is nuts. Give me the Bills on this one. Mahomes versus Allen, again, is going to be great. But give me Mahomes in this one. The Chiefs are going to take it. Moving over to the NFC, we have the Niners and the Packers. The Packers did pull off a stunning win against the Cowboys. Actually, not so stunning win against the Cowboys. But the 49ers are just the best team in the NFL. There's no way they lose. So give me the Niners. If Jordan Love can go into Santa Clara and beat the Niners, something Aaron Rodgers could never do. I wonder where that puts them in the Packers quarterback list, but I don't think that's going to happen. The Niners are just too good. Give me the Niners. Yeah, give me the Niners in this one. I think that overall their team is just too stacked, and Brock Purdy is just going to get the ball where he needs to go, so give me the 49ers. Last game we have for the week is the Detroit Lions and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Bucks did get a playoff win, but so did the Lions, and the Lions are ruling. The fourth field is going to be packed. Go the Lions here. Great for the Lions. Congrats to Dan Campbell. Congrats to that whole organization for getting their first playoff win in 32 years. Unfortunately, that's going to come to an end this week. No, it's not. Go it's just Bucks. Not. MCDC is going to have the boys rolling. Give me the Lions. Yeah, let's go. Thanks for tuning in to this week's edition of NFL Game Day Playoff Edition. We will see you next week, Nova. Do you have a story that you want featured on the Cat's Eye News? Email us at nhscatseyenews at gmail.com. Just send us details, pictures, and videos, and we'll do the rest. And that is it for today's episode of the Cat's Eye News. Thank you for watching. Let's check out the suitcase.